We've been weaponizing things for a number of months now, and now apparently it's time for knives. One problem, I've never actually done this before. Now, thankfully I do have a little bit of experience throwing things at other things. But given how much I hit myself with my own projectiles, I think there's a very strong chance that I end up being super stabbed instead of super badass. So I guess we're gonna see how that plays out. I know a chunk of you are gonna watch this video and start hurling knives into things. Radical. I chose these knives so you can learn alongside me without breaking the bank. If you're a secret knife expert, consider leaving a comment with your favorite suggestion. We all want to hear from you. All right then. Stabbing. Time! I feel like a scrub. I freaking hate that feeling. It's always tempting at this stage to just quit, but it's up to us to adapt, relearn, and overcome. So, I've chugged a few videos online. Learned a thing or two about a thing or two. But I think we might now actually have exactly what it takes to get very good at this thing very quickly. But it's easy to talk a big game, so let's see if we can actually pull it off. So here's what I figured out. Knife throwing has hot spots. There are certain hot spots where none of your shots will stick. And then there are others where you suddenly become the undisputed god of long distance shanking. I mean, look at this. This is disgusting. So the trick here is gradually inching forward or backwards as you throw until you locate one of those hot spots. I know John Wick does a no spin throw in the clip. My focus is accuracy, power, and speed of implementation. For that, we're adapting the technique we use for throwing cards. So now, there's really only just one place we can and should go with this. <laughs> this is much harder than it looks. I'm just really hoping these knives don't ricochet back into my face. Hey, we actually did it. And I already know this is going to get some hate in the comments, but if there's one thing that you should walk away with at the end of this video, it's to never let someone else's insecurities become yours. So take a risk, try something new. I promise it'll be worth it. And if you've got any suggestions about what skill I should learn next or where to go, be sure to leave them down in the comments. Let's become unstoppable together. And one final thing, if you made it this far, you're a rock star. Don't you ever let them take that from you. I appreciate you immensely. Until next time, peace. Subscribe if you want me to make more.